folks. I'm playing Bit Trip Runner today. This is a game I've played a little bit of in the past. I think I played the first world of it a while ago, like years ago. And I remember uh, I got annoyed at some of the levels, even in the first world. So, should be fun, right? Should be fun. That's not music from the game, but I thought it might be appropriate. In, but this is, I remember it being pretty fun. I, I have the sequel, and I think, I think Runner 2 is a bit better, in my opinion. I think the second one doesn't have quite as strong of like an art style going, but the first one is not particularly amazing looking either. I just didn't like the weird 3D, like rounded bodies of Bit Trip 2. Okay, um, this is just some cool fan art I found on, like, the Steam community page, by the way. Really good stuff. I considered streaming Intrusion 2 today, which I will get around to doing. But I think I'm going to play Intrusion 1 on, on a Flash Game Friday first. Before I do that. Uh, the game, the game, the game. So I don't know how to erase my save file here. I'm sure there's a way to do it. But I... I think nothing is lost if I just go through the levels in order. So I'm gonna do that. It's by Gaijin Games, which is a bit of an embarrassing name. This game was referenced a lot in Super Meat Boy, or a little bit. Because there was Commander Video, the main character of this game, is in that. And uh, I think Super Meat Boy, or I think Meat Boy is actually in this game. If I, if I recall correctly, I think I've seen images of, like, the ending. And for some reason, Super Meat Boy is there, so... Whatever. I remember this game has... This song, and I think a couple others, uh, from Anamanaguchi, which is a... Hilariously named chiptune band. So this is like a rhythm runner game? Kinda? I don't remember, there's not a lot of plot, if I recall correctly. I have crash landed on a meteor, and I'm here to walk. First contact. Okay, so I'm playing this with my SNES controller, so that image is actually accurate. So remember, you don't lose speed if you crouch, so I like to just slide everywhere, even though he is very walking. Alright. So the gold, I don't remember what the gold does, but I'm going to pick it up. I think it's all just for points, and the plus things give you, like, multiplier, I think. Actually, I'm not sure. Extra! Extra! Here's the iconic. Hold on, you guys can see it, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> So I think, oh right, if you get every, I think if you get every gold, you get this little bonus level. Is this, is this Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, two? What's the one with the, I think multiple ones have the weird, like, Atari looking minigames. Oh shit. Oh! Some tricky shit already. So I can't stop moving. I think, if I recall correctly, the actual, like, music of this game is kind of lame. Like, it's... Oh, how the fuck do I get that one? I needed to, like, time a jump perfectly. That one right below the ledge. That other one I jumped over. Ah! But it, like, I think it gives, like, random notes. Like, when you, when you touch a block or whatever, or you, like, jump over something, it's not part of any actual, like, written song. It's just a random note, and it just looks like, or it sounds, rather, like, poop. Like, it doesn't sound like anything. It's just random notes. It's like, yeah, I'll give it to you. It's on the beat, but, uh... And, and the music, like, the backbeat does get better as it goes on, but... I just think they could have done a little better designing the 
notes that it plays when you, like, do stuff. The actual dynamic stuff. Feels really lame. Uh, is sound and visuals at, at good statuses? Oh, shit. Some close calls here at the end. Like, this... The music is good. It's just the dynamic part that I question. You, 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 you! can make, like... Graphs with my rainbows. <laughs> you know, this game actually, now that I'm realizing, now that I'm thinking about it. It shares a lot of similarities with Super Meat Boy. Like, it's got the retro levels. <laughs> oh shit, I, I need to, like, do a cool jump there. <clears throat> Give me the opportunity. Oh shit, but it wasn't there that time. Give me another opportunity to do that and I'll prove myself. Yeah! Oh shit, oh, sneaky gold, fuck. It was in the trees and I missed it, and I missed a ton of gold. Shit. Can I kick? Yeah, I can kick. I think that comes up later. You can, like, kick, slide, jump, and then there's, like, trampolines. Ah. Best- Mick? What? Gesters? What the fuck did that one say? The font is a little hard to read. Okay, crouch. Oh, and these ones play three random notes, aren't you- aren't you lucky ducks? With you with your ears, your human ears that get to hear that. Sounds great to me. <laughs> that like almost sounded good. I remember there was a level called Odyssey that was really long. And it was just obnoxious, because it was just like a really drawn out, tedious level, and if you hit, get hit at all, you get sent back to the beginning. I remember that's right about where I was like, okay. I don't need to play more of this. But who knows, maybe I'll feel better about it now. There have been plenty of games that I like, they were too hard for me when I was younger, and now I go back to them and I'm like, alright. Why is it that you have a 1950s New York vibe? Anyone else get that vibe from me? I guess I'm, like, mildly sassy. Eee. Eee. Uh, to those of you who just got here, I, I have played the first world of this before. Uh, so the reason all the levels in the first world are unlocked is because that's how much I did in my first playthrough, like, five years ago or whatever. So... I think I got to the, like, the first world boss, and I think there's three worlds? Fuck. Ugh. I wonder if there's a way to just turn those off and just listen to the actual music. But it's like, the sound effects do kind of help a little bit to, like, get you in the zone. You know, Commander Video had, like, a glide move in Super Meat Boy, and now that I'm playing this again, I'm struggling to figure out what that's in reference to. Like, I don't, I don't think he does that in this game. Maybe that's in a later world. But yeah, I didn't- I couldn't figure out how to delete my save file, and I didn't want to make it, like, a huge thing. I was like, I think it still plays the cutscenes when you just go through the levels in order, so that's what I'm doing. And I think it does. We saw the intro cutscene, still. Yay! What's the best way to get through TSA? There's no way that's a real question. You're just trying to like, you're trying to like lowball me some kind of like, joke. And honestly, I got nothing. I'm sorry. He set me up there. Oh, 69. There's 69 gold. If I don't get them all, then I'm a failed gamer. Probably shouldn't say that, huh? Probably shouldn't say that. Hmm. 
Hmm. You can extend your jump. By holding jump, I see. But it's it's not the way it works in Meat Boy. Okay, kick. It's teaching me how to kick now. I remember in the second one, you can dance, which is just amazing. The second one is honestly so much better. I can't wait to play that. But I think I'm going to try to get through this whole first game. Even if I get a little fucking annoyed, so... If you're a massive fan of this game, it might not be prudent to, uh... Stick around for some of the harder parts, because I'm probably just gonna end up complaining again, saying game sucks. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, boy. Copyright 2010. Is it the same bonus level every time? No. Ah. Mmm. I will say this feels a lot easier on SNES controller, but I... The last time I played this was also many years ago, and that was on keyboard. SNES controller I'm, is starting... To, I'm starting to realize is like one of the better controllers. It's like those second generation... Or those second iteration Nintendo consoles. The SNES and the GameCube both have great controllers. NES and N64, not so fucking much. But SNES and GameCube are like the refined versions of their previous consoles. It's like the cycle Nintendo was going through for a while there. And then it kind of got broken. Oh look, there's a little lad. There's a lad in the background. Like all these repeating like weird like worm things, I'm like okay. Yeah, I already saw it do that little animation a million times. I don't know. It just, uh... It comes across kind of, like, bland. I don't know, they could have done so much more with this. And I know it's an indie game, but... Just seeing the same exact obstacle over and over again... Has diminishing returns pretty fast. background is like one of the main characters. I'm not sure. There's like a whole like lore, I think. Fuck. <laughs> I do like I do like the music that plays, so I'm looking forward to the second world, which has music that I think I've never heard before. Or maybe I like went into the first level and was like, okay, screw this. Maybe I couldn't beat the boss in this first world, because I think I had every level up to the boss unlocked. I think when I was younger, I also was convinced that this would have eight worlds, because I was so used to Mario games. <laughs> Where they typically have, like, eight or nine worlds. So those are some of the only, like, other platformers I had played at the time. And then I played Super Meat Boy, and it blew my mind! I'm not sure about the rest of the series. When I typed in the category on Twitch, there was one that was like Bit Trip, like Force or something, or Fusion, I don't know. What year was this game again, somebody says? I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to check if, to see if there's some sort of like copyright or something, I don't know. Fuck! Bit Trip Core? Yeah, I don't know what these are. Is that like a 3D version? Like a, like, on a 3D plane? It sounds like Bit Trip, like, slash Pie Cross for some reason. Do 
Jabal Stabler? What was that? Jabal Stabler? The fuck did this game just say to me? Okay, these things always sound good. These things have like a set series of notes that actually sounds good. I'll, I'll give it that. All the ones that are just random, I'm like, bruh. I like the spring. I remember there were some parts with like precise timing where you need to like press up exactly in the center of the spring in order to get like an arc of, of gold, kind of like that. That gold grabbing like particle effect is a little distracting there on the last, on like the rainbow mode. I didn't even know there was a runner three. Fuck! I, I I was a little too late. I shouldn't have jumped that early. All the other bit trip games are nothing like this one. Well, I know that's at least a little bit wrong. Runner two. I've played and it's quite similar. Keep fucking up those bonus challenges. Oh shit. Hooray. What was this name? What was this level's name? Smuggler's Groan or something like that? The fuck kind of shit are you telling me, game? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just love that you don't lose speed for sliding. Oh, fuck. Hold on, I need to scratch my giggle zone. Okay. Sorry. Might have been too much information. Oh, wait. Oh, shit, I missed that. Fuck it. Uh, uh yes, Slenderman is indeed in Runner 2. That's true. You can also play as a pickle that has- or you can play as like a fish with like a giant dong or something if I recall correctly. Also, check it out. If I press forward on the D-pad, I can just produce notes. This is good. I can just make random notes come out. You guys like this? Does this add to the music? That's a good addition. There's Pickle Rick. Fuck, I need to get that. Hold on, I'm gonna intentionally die. Yes, the Odyssey level is in this world. That's... I remember it quite distinctly. There we go. It's hard to get that. The backgrounds are kinda nice. Ah, shit. I was looking at the backgrounds and I got distracted. <laughs> Uh, there are no checkpoints in this one. I think there are checkpoints in the second one, and that is such a saving grace. It's holy fuck. One of the worst parts of this game is no checkpoints, I'm pretty sure. Maybe they show up in later worlds than the first one. The second one had longer levels, but also checkpoints. And also more exciting gameplay, and... I seem to recall better dynamic music. Although, we'll see. I'll play that one, too. Don't know about any other entries in the series. Fuck! I just didn't time it right there. Uh, so, somebody was saying it's playing notes similar to how Mario Galaxy... Fuck. Uh, similar to how Mario Galaxy does it. It doesn't feel nearly as good as Mario Galaxy's system for that. Mario Galaxy is very, like, you can distinctly hear it going along with the music. This just, like, it sounds like, if, even if it's not random, it sounds really bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's like sometimes you, like, sort of accidentally get something, but 
It doesn't feel nearly as controlled as Nintendo's level of fucking polish on that crazy shit, like the music notes. Ah! I did, I did the exact same thing again. Fuck. Can I just hold up to do this? I wonder. I can. I can just hold up. That's so much easier. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Most of the time. I was like trying to time it. I can just hold the up button. Hold up! Oh, uh, the giggle zone is beckoning, but I don't want to... The level's happening. Every time we go over one of these big jumps, it's a big skeleton man. Every time we go under something, it's always... I guess it's, it can be very different things. I've hit something of a roadblock with this level, though. I keep dying. I don't even know what that fucking thing is with the ducking... Ah! Alright, well, I'm starting to die. like a crystal mine of some sorts in the background. Also, I missed a piece of gold. Ultra! Ultra. Those jumps are slightly tight. Not the tightest thing in the universe, but, you know. I gotta go for it. I gotta go for it. I'm gonna stop going for that though. For real though, guys. Let's be let's be real. I'm gonna stop going for that because holy fuck. You need to be some fucking like gamer god there. Oh wait, you can buffer jumps. Hold on. I just need to buffer a jump there, guys. It's simple. I just need to buffer a jump. I was experimenting with with the buffering and it, and it, it I I went down a pit. I doubt this will be a one-off. It might be, I don't know. We'll see. I seem to remember it taking me quite some time. Okay, I'm not even gonna try with the buffer and jump because I already missed some gold. Might as well. Might as well dick it! I'm not gonna go for it. Is the- oh my god, the goal's right there. I died right before the goal so many times. Oh. I don't think the fish with the penis is in this game. Part of the reason- whoa. Part of the reason why the second game is in 3D, I think, was to accommodate the fish penis. I went to scratch my neck! Ah! I thought I had time. So we can see it in, in its full, like, jig jiggle physics glory. I'm editing an episode of Lark Souls 2, where uh, I get out my trombone, and Lark and I play the trombone. And the company that makes, it was like a plastic, uh, like, PVC trombone that I used for marching band. And, uh, the company that makes it is called Jigs. And it always makes me think of Jigglypuff. So that's what's been up with my life lately. Uh, I don't know about you guys. It gets a little hard to see what's going on sometimes with all the big particle effect splooges. Oh shit, look at that! See, that's the one where I needed to like hit it right in the middle of the spring. I just held up there and that, that made it so I didn't get all of them. 
how much was the trombone? I think it was like 80 bucks or something, like 60, 80 bucks. Pretty cheap for a trombone, but it doesn't, of course, it doesn't have the same brassy ring to it or anything. But it's much more durable and much more portable and much better for uh, playing in marching band because you're swinging that shit around. Oh shit, I remember these. I have to, okay. I just luckily guessed, but it's for orange ones you jump over, for purple ones you go under, I guess. I'm... I'm a lucky man, can I say. Oh! We're still only at Mega? Come on, get it all. Yeah. I think I got it all. I actually was off screen for a second there. Uh, fuck. I don't know. Extra! <laughs> yeah. Final test. Alright, I think I might have got- yeah, all of them, hell yeah. One out of ten rate your marching band experience. It was awesome. I- I know it's like I'm a band geek or whatever, but I had a great time in band. That was one of my most memorable experiences of uh, high school in general and junior high. Although we did it, we like visited marching band games in junior high. Fuck. The big kids who were in, in high school and uh, I was very enamored. I was like, whoa. Well, I got 42 out of 42 on that level and then I got 4 out of 55 on that shit. Mm. Yep. Plastic mouthpiece too. I think I think it was like swap swappable with a normal mouthpiece though. It didn't really sound that different though. But I had a great time. Lots of there were some fun field trips and sort of like vacation esque. Uh, like out of state concerts and stuff that were just so fun and memorable. There was one part where uh, the in, in I'm like talking about it like it's a movie. There's one part where there was a period of time in high school where like the choir, the orchestra, and the band all went to San Diego, and it was freaking awesome. It was a great trip. Everybody got really sick and sunburnt, but we all had a great time. Oh shit, there was gold there. I think this is Odyssey. Guys, was, is this Odyssey? Is this a really long one? I didn't look at the title. I was too busy thinking about band. But that's one of my best uh, high school memories, is that San Diego trip. What the fuck? Can I slide under those? I don't even want to try. Oh, look at that. See, it's like almost music. Look at this, we're still on just, like, nothing mode. I'm not even gonna go for, like, all the golds in this level. Like, holy shit. Shit. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is the really long one that I, I just was stuck on for ages. And this is where I, this is where I started to get annoyed with the game. And I was like, okay, this is not fun. Just doing, like, basic jumps over and over again. While this, this annoying beat plays in the background because there's no upgrades. And it's just like, a single mistake sends you all the way back. Disincentivizes me from wanting to get the gold. Like all the tricky ones? Fuck that. I just want to get through this shit, you know? It is strangely hypnotic, but not in a not in a terribly fun way. I guess I'm engaged though. It's just like this over and over again. What how is this fun? It's like yeah, I, I already did that jump, bro. <laughs> Fucking hell.
<laughs> you ever like, does anybody else get this where like, if you panic about something or if you like, your heart rate goes up, your sinuses clear? That's been happening to me, but like only recently. It's like a new ability that I have. And like speedrunning this game must be a fucking pain in the ass. Like it's basically just memorize everything, execute everything perfectly, but you can't like save time really it's just there's just, like gotta be like basic menuing stuff I feel like so you can't go any faster I don't know feels like it wouldn't have a good like speed running element to it I guess oh god my eyes are like glazing over I got like sensory overload yeah There's really more. Jesus Christ. Okay. I got through it. That wasn't so bad. Uh, we actually took a plane to San Diego. Oh god, you know how when you... <laughs> I, this, is, this, is, this is real. I'm actually saying this. When you're walking, and you, you, you like go on a hike or something, and then you stop moving, and your eyes are sort of used to things moving towards you, and it looks like everything's sort of like oozing away from you slightly, you get like that, that illusion. I was looking at that screen scrolling to the right for so long that I got that sort of illusion thing to the left. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, now, Mini Grand Timble Tot? Is that what that fucking says? What are these words? Oh, hell yeah. Yo! I like that, when it just gives you all the... all the upgrades. I played a little bit more of Snailiad off-stream, just a tiny bit more, like a couple minutes. I checked out the boss rush mode, and it was kind of fun, because it just drops you in a room with a bunch of, like, all the power-ups that you find throughout the game, so you're, like, fully upgraded to fight the bosses. Fuck. Yo. Okay. Yeah! Mm. All right. Ah! Hey, hey! I need to adjust. Leave. Yeah, those last couple orange cubes on that Odyssey level. Fuck that! I think I, I must have died to those. I remember that. That level took me like hours on my first playthrough when I played this as a child. Er, not a child. I was a teenager. I have to itch my nose. I did it. I did it. I'm a god gamer. Woo! I, I think I remember the first time I played this, I like, didn't... When he came like, rushing at me, I was like, what the fuck do I do? I didn't realize I had to kick him, which is pretty clearly telegraphed, honestly. Yo, oh what? I kicked it, it broke! What? Did you guys see that? It started to shatter, but I still died. Ooh. It's cool, it's cool though. I like that whole like dump in all of your upgrades for the boss thing, and now that's two games I've seen do that, at least. Oh. 
fuck. Oh. Yeah, so the, uh, oh shit, I, I was looking at chat. So apparently this game has this game has sort of a crossover with Super Meat Boy uh, both ways because Commander Video is in Super Meat Boy and apparently Meat Boy is in this game. I remember seeing pictures of them like flying like straight up like Power Rangers, and I was like, why the fuck is Meat Boy there? I think I might have got one of those like Steam trading cards of Meat Boy for this game, and I was like, what? <laughs> ha -hoo! What the fuck? Oh, I think I'm touching... I think I'm hitting the underside of the ship. I think I can't jump there. I think I'm like, my head is bumping the boss. I think that's what that is. So I think, I remember this boss though. I remember this crystal thing. So I think this might've been where I gave up on my first playthrough. If this thing starts throwing out those fucking, like, bouncing colored cubes... I'm not gonna know what to do with my life. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yahoo! What's this? What are you doing? Ah! Oh! Oh, yeah! 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 Edmund M. likes to reference other indie games in his works. He fucking referenced Kentucky Route Zero in, uh... Oh, uh, what is it? Aether. 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 Okay, look at that. That's so sneaky. Sneaky and cheeky, I'll say it. What the fuck? Okay, that's- oh my god, and now I gotta do the whole boss again. Ugh. Fucking hell. That's- that's no good. Not a fan. I- I do like kicking. Just over and over. I, I'm struggling to think of other, like, infinite runners like this that I've played. Where it, like, forces you to run. The rest of this boss isn't that crazy. Uh, the, the whole thing where he, the bottom of the ship can kill you is a little bullshit. Oh, shit. <laughs> the dinosaur cactus game? That's true. I have played that. But this, that, those ships that come down from the sky, how, how am I supposed to react to that? That feels like something you're just bound to die to on your first try, right? You're like, what the fuck do I do? Unless you just guess right.
I'm annoyed because I feel like I'm just gonna die to those fucking saucers again. Yeah, can we skip all this bit on subsequent runs? Do we need to see all this shit? This boss is gonna end up being harder than the fucking Odyssey level. I guess that makes sense, because this is what I apparently gave up on. I was hitting crouch, it just, I just, I jumped like a pixel too late. Fucking hell. It's like the ultimate, like, your body just starts itching all over while you play this game. I don't even have the germa excuse of be being covered in poison ivy. I'm gonna be the first gamer to cover, to, to beat all of Bitrip, Bitrip Runner on stream while covered in poison oak. <laughs> what did he say, Sukum? It's just so much, like, busy work just to get to the fucking part. The hard part. Oh, fuck. Okay, I jumped too early that time. Fuck! Yeah, 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 it's a boss. I get it, mate. Sumac. You sure do love talking about Germa. Yeah, that's what, once this stream? Phew. Fucking get a life, am I right? <laughs> Watch something else. I mean, Jesus Christ. is such, like, bullshit, too, the part where it lowers down, because when it drops that obstacle, it's not even in a place where you would bump into it, but, like, while that's happening, it moves into the place where it'll hit you. <sighs> I mean, I, I could say all the things that are on my mind about this whole scenario here. You've all heard it before. I hate it. Just get me to the fucking, like, part that I struggled at, please. This is nothing. There's no reason to do this. It, it's just tedium. It's just tedium. Someone said to make the notes. Here are some notes. <laughs> this is my solo. Told you guys I was a musician. Told you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<sighs> it's not even a cool looking robot. It's just got a bunch of cogs. Cogs! There's more. What is that? Oh, fuck me. I hit up. I hit up. I hit up. I hit up. It's just too late. There's actually considerably more after those fucking those saucers. Just checkpoints would <laughs> it would make perfect sense. It would make perfect sense to have checkpoints in this. There's no reason for this. It's not challenging. Like, when I mess up here, it's just because I'm fucking bored and I'm trying to read chat. Again, second game is a lot better, <laughs> in my opinion. I was considering this being a one-off. Might still do that. Who's to say? start crouching until you actually touch the ground. Which is what keeps getting me. Oy vey. I just hope that it gets better after this. I hope there's like some nice fun levels and I can get back to enjoying it. Because I was enjoying it up till this point. Even Odyssey wasn't that bad. I just prefer sunshine. That's all, folks. <sighs> but yeah, if this is just the first boss, imagine what the second and third bosses are gonna be. Holy fuck. Somebody says that the demo of this game was just this boss. That's, uh... Whoops. Better luck next time. And the music's not even that good for this fight. It's just this weird little, like, beat with the random notes. <laughs> I know it's driving me fucking insane. I don't know about you guys. so cool. That is so cool. That is so cool. That is really cool. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. If I remember correctly, Odyssey, the, like, level, had an achievement for some reason, like, just for beating that level. It was like they were proud of it, guys. It's like they were proud of what they'd done. 
Hmm. Fuck! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's just if those if those came in from like the other side of the screen so that I could actually see if they I mean I know it's gonna be an up and a down and an up and a down, but it's just much harder to get the timing down when they're taking that abrupt angle from going down to going left. Oh oh I just hate it. Oh oh What a waste of fucking time. What a waste of fucking time. Shoot your shitty saucers. Fuck you. Just do it again? Just over again? What is that? That's not fun. Just do the same thing over and over? Fuck! Okay. It's cool. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Didn't take long, it's been less than an hour and I'm already like mad. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, I forgot that you can't jump there because he moves down while you're jumping. Yeah, 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 yeah. It sucks that if you hold that direction, like you, you make a new note by pressing forward for whatever reason, it sucks that if holding it, it doesn't just like spew a constant stream of notes, like a new note every frame. Every frame of painting. Can we go back to socks, please? <laughs> yeah, folding socks was a lot more forgiving than this. It's just like, fuck. Makes you feel like, why am I even playing this? I'm just gonna be rewarded with more of like this. Okay, cool, well, mmm, yes. <laughs> Fuck me. Sorry, I was just expecting it to go on for my literal entire life, this boss. I was like, oh, it just never ends. This is just my Sisyphean task now. This is just what I do. This is just what I do with my life now. It's just the same fucking shit over and over.
Christ. Ugh. At least now, yes, I, I can't just get complete bullshit on anymore. I've seen everything, I know what's gonna happen now, just because of sheer fucking, like, memorization. <sighs> and I just need to execute it without a single mistake. So cool. Such a cool boss. It's like, did they play it before they released it? And they were like, yeah, that's fine. It's like, yeah, they're probably a lot more familiar with like the controls as the developers or whatever. But even they make mistakes sometimes. I don't know, man. How did this like slip through the cracks? Oh, how fucking miserable. I went to go scratch my nose because I forgot he fucking goes right down on top of me. It's so cool. <sighs> it's just garbage. Awful. Oh yeah, he'd better die at the at that third hit. I I doubt that there will be more. I truly do, although clearly this game has no fucking decency. It's just like Super Meat Boy, it's like, you know, you're expecting at that point, you're just like, well, you know. They're just gonna continue to do this shit. Sky's the limit when you don't give a shit. Video games are my favorite chore, somebody says. Yeah, me too. Hey, it's my job, alright? I have to take this deadly serious. You die. Leave. Bye. 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 We'll fucking see you. Yeah, endure. That's not a good thing, game. No. Don't act like that's a good thing, game. That's a bad thing. You are a you are bad, game. You did bad. That was a terrible level. Bit trip bummer. Okay, now we're finally gonna get to see something new, oh my god. Oh my god. Is this just gonna seamlessly transition into the actual level? Oh. What? I hit A because I thought- Okay, I just skipped the cutscene on accident because I thought I was gonna fucking like- I thought I was gonna fucking like run into something. Okay, well I immediately figured out what these are. I thought it was- mm. All right, finally, some new fucking music. New anything. Background's a little bit distracting. Oh shit, I didn't even see that health thing until it was already passed. Oh, up, up, up. There's a lot of shit going on that's kind of throwing me off. I keep thinking those carts are gonna hit me. Alright, I didn't even get the extra power up that time. Bop, boop, bop, boop, bop. Bop, boop. Whoa. Hmm. <laughs> I kinda like these, even though they got no music. There's a there's a cute simplicity to them. And it's fun, there's a they give you a little more of a 
more basic challenge, just tricky jumps, usually. Jesus Christ. Harry Norquip Wisp? The fuck? Jesus. Mega Super. What's happening here? Holy fuck, there's so much going on in the background. Ah, shit. Didn't get everything. I keep thinking I'm gonna get hit by stuff that's like, just there for decoration. Oh my god, guys, it's like a video game now. Holy shit. There's a tree with glasses. Oh, this could only happen in a video game. <laughs> oh, I'm still so salty about that boss. Holy fuck. I'm gonna slide the entire time this run. Unless I gotta jump. Shit. Oh no! <laughs> slide. This is a this is a moment that we would like to call a slide moment. I think it's, it's surprisingly easy to just do it while sliding. It's not actually that much of a hindrance. <laughs> yeah, 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 I missed some stuff. Yeah, 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 slide, slide. Slide, kick. Ready for the second boss. Weened Wizened Elder Bend. The fuck? I thought it said Wiener. Come back here, you Wiener. I screwed up. Whoa. Alright. The oven is on. I'll be right back. All right, boys, I I put my pizza in. I, I forgot that I had preheated the oven. <clears throat> you guys need to remind me in 13 to 15 minutes so I can take my pizza out. Fuck! I didn't get that one. Yo. Everything's fine. My house, my, my house didn't burn down. Fuck am I saying? My house.
My huge... Uh, that, this reminds me of a story, though. Uh, you guys know those, like, gel-based hand warmers? Some of you will know where I'm going with this. Hold on. I'll, I'll put up a picture of one. Some of you probably know what I'm talking about. It's this little, like, packet of gel, and it has this little metal thing in it that you, like, pop, you, like, snap it in order to, uh... <laughs> in order to, like, heat up the gel on the inside, it, like, it like, crystallizes and becomes hot, and it's like a, a, a hand warmer. And one time I put one of these, because you're supposed to, after you use them, they, like, harden, and then you're supposed to put them in boiling water, uh, for a while to, like, make them back into gel. And, uh, basically one time I put one of those in boiling water, and then I forgot that it was in boiling water, and then I went to go stream, I think it was Rayman Legends, or Origins or something, and fuck. And, uh, <laughs> it boiled all the water away, and then it burnt away all the plastic and all of the toxic slime that was inside there. And the only thing left was the little metal thing. And I realized, like halfway through the stream, because of the smell... And fuck! And I... Was, was rudely awakened from my stream. My stream coma. By the smell of burning plastic. I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do on those. Maybe hold down to, like, chain... It seems like I can't chain together those bounces. But, yeah, so I basically, like, smelted it down on accident and maybe gave everyone in my house cancer. Okay, not sure how I'm supposed to do that. I think I need to, like, I need to, like, do, like, an M. An M of jumps. Fuck. Up. 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 Okay! <laughs> and the slide, that's what I'm missing here. There we go. <laughs> okay, I need to not slide all the time, because... It does make you jump slightly lower. Shit. Oh. Uh... Ah! Ah! Okay, I need to do it the other way. That's way easier. Why does everything have a weird face in this world? It's so... there's a lot going on on screen. Very busy environments. Make me think shit's happening. Whoa. The music's hella loud. What is that? Oh. <laughs> I thought I could walk on that. I think I need to just spring over that. Shit. Like, I know the second game has these, like, animations- fuck, I should jump onto that. Uh, it has these animations in the background, too. But I don't remember them being quite so... distracting. Fuck, I just said I should jump onto that, and then I didn't jump onto it.
Even the game was trying to train me into doing it. There. Admittedly unsuccessfully. I'll leave it up to the viewer if that's the game's fault or my fault. Probably mine. Fuck. Shit, I did it wrong. You know what? This is now a no-meter run. I'm not gonna get any of the, the plus signs. I'm not gonna get any of them. I'm gonna beat this level while I'm on hyper. Nope. Oh shit, no, I had to! It forced my hand. Oh, the game forced my hand. Now I'm mega. Uh, yeah, I haven't played any of the N series yet, no. Oh! Shit. Fuck. <laughs> It is satisfying to collect these. Shit. Shit. I didn't M. I didn't do the M properly. <laughs> yeah, I actually beat one for once. Boy. Okay, what level are we on? Two, six, moint, moint? <laughs> what? What is moint, moint? Oh, shit, I didn't, I literally didn't even see that. It hit me directly in the face. <laughs> slide, slide, slide. Slide. Oh shit, I shouldn't have been crouching there. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I could have got that if I was standing, actually. It might not affect your jump height, like I was saying. Fuck! I didn't see that one either! Was it like- it was like moving along with one of the carts in the background, I feel like. That's my John of the moment. I kicked too early. Fuck. I do like the look of Commander Video. He is a cool looking character. Simple yet effective. That's that's the best way to do it, in my opinion. Not a, not a complicated design. Very easy to represent with pixel sprites and convey a little bit of uh, personality. Just uh, good shit. These levels are starting to sound a little more musical. It's like when I was a kid, whenever I saw a piano, I would go over to it, and I would just play essentially random notes on it, and I'd be like, Oh, look, I'm making music. Oh. Fuck. But I... was just playing random notes, basically. Just like garbage. I don't know. I just feel like it could the dynamic music could have been touched up a little more. They, they could have made it something a little better. As it stands, it, it doesn't sound... Like, it's on the beat, but the notes don't sound good. <laughs> like, now in these later levels, there's a bit more of, like, a structure. 
you can hear like repeating motifs. Fuck. How long till my pizza, guys? I'm hungry. always great. I love the extra. And it's good because it's a reward for getting all of them. Cool music moment. Whoo! I didn't see those. I just didn't, didn't see them. Just straight up did not see them. Look at chat during this game. Whoa. It's hard to look at chat during this game. There's a lot going on that needs my attention. Extra. Oh, I got a crick, crick in my neck. I had a really good neck crack. I don't even care that I died. Three minutes. Alright. Well, tell me when the tell me when those alarms go off, folks. Somebody was saying that tree is in the shape of a swastika, and I, I, I think it is, actually. Those branches, there's a swastika in there. Ultra. Water. You guys seen that image that's like... It's, it's the two little, like, spouts for, uh... For like drinks for soda pop at like a fast food store, fast food restaurant. Fuck. And one of them says water, and the other one says water, but like in an aesthetic text. Text. It's like water. That's how I always imagine it being said. Or like an anime girl. That's the aesthetic version. And the other one's just like fucking like Times New Roman, like water. I'm imagining it with like a ton of reverb too. I think my vision is like blurring over. Uh, I think my sight is going. It's actually getting dark. is done. No bonus. Alright, I'll be right back. It might take me a sec, I need to slice it.
Okay, I'm back. <sighs> yeah, people keep telling me about the hover thing. I am aware of that. The, like, longer jumps if you hold the button. So don't worry. I'm in the no. And I'm letting my pizza cool, so I'm gonna play another one. It, there's a BRB still up. Shit. Oh! <laughs> oh! Guess who's back? The purple cubes. That cube fucking came from left field. Whoa! <laughs> this is starting to test me. <laughs> oh. Check out this music. Ah. Ah, ah, e, ah, oh. Yeah, there's a bunch of like big commander videos in the background as like hills, which is kind of awesome. So I think the lesson to be learned from that is no matter where they come from, purple ones will always be dodgeable by ducking. Orange ones will always be dodgeable by jumping, I think. Actually, I didn't try ducking that first orange one. Ah, I keep screwing up. I'm eating pizza. Mmm. Oh, shit. Nope, can't duck under it. Ooh. Oh fuck, I keep doing that. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> I tried to hit jump on there. Pizza. It's a pizza margarita. I've got tomatoes and basil and stuff. We saw the uh, the robot, the big robot guy in the background there. All right, starting to get some healthy challenge. That's uh, that doesn't feel like bullshit either. Can't wait for that to get fucking ruined by the boss. Fuck! I keep doing that. do that. When I get to those like hovering platforms that are like suspended, I need to just jump right off the edge. No. Oh. 
They are starting to get a lot more musical, which is nice. I do like that. There's the robot. Oh, what? Oh, I need to duck under that. Shit. Somebody says, where have I heard that? Uh, pause sound before. It does sound familiar, doesn't it? Like... I, I, I was sort of thinking that earlier, too, when I was, uh, sound testing the game. It's just oddly familiar. Maybe I just know it from this, though. You know, I was thinking Zelda, but isn't that more of a brrrr? It's, it's different in Zelda. That was kind of what I thought. Like, Ocarina or Majora. But they're... They're different. It's getting real. Shit's getting kind of real. Fuck! Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, 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 you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really fucking tricky. Can I jump over these by any chance? I don't think I can. This need to be fucking perfect. Ho 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 ho! Shit. Out of nowhere, I tried to get it. I tried to get it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna go for it. I don't even care. Shit. I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm not getting any of the like upgrades. Shit. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Bobby. Yeah, Bobby. Boy. Baby. Boy. Be. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Yeah, Bobby. Ah! What? 
This is a tricky fucking level. Holy shit. Oi. <laughs> these tight, these tight jumps are just, oh, I, I, I hate it. They're, they're so tight. And then you gotta just do this shit again? Come on. That- what the fuck is with that one? Alright, I'm stuck- started on my second slice. <laughs> Shit's fucking nuts. Oh god, I actually I stood up there, but I didn't get the gold. <laughs> That's no good. That's just not right. I believe I quote God when I say that's just not right. I'm probably going to sign off in the next couple of levels. This is getting pretty tiring. Hmm. <laughs> that is fucked up. That is just fucked up right there. I I did it. I hit the button though. I hit the button. Oh, Christ. I got past that like frame perfect jump that one time, but now I'm not gonna be able to anymore. Hey! Ah, I went for. I was trying to go for the gold. I got all the gold up till that point. I was feeling good. I was popping off, but I I died going for the gold. Yeah. I shit you not. The reason I get margarita pizzas now is because I heard them mentioned in my favoriteest piece of media of all timest. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Part 5, Vento Aureo. No, that's only partially true. 
I actually did buy one because I was like, I don't think I've ever had one of these. And I got one and I was like, fuck, these are actually really good. There was like a frozen, like the Sam's Club frozen variety. I was like, you know what? This is easy to prepare for a schlub such as myself and it's fucking good. So now I'm a pizza margarita fanatic. Oh man. Mm. Oh look, the, the carts are taking a tumble. Is this the Minecraft level? Female commander video with like a mole and a bow because of course there is. Cause get it, video games. Lol. Miss Pac-Man. that Giorno wanted such a basic type of pizza, aren't Italians supposed to be fancy? Boy, ain't you seen Ratatouille? I know that takes place in Paris, but... or whatever, really, somewhere in France. But it's... he wants a pizza margarita just like a mama used to make! It's... it's more of like a, it reminds them of home. Narancia also says that in part 5, actually. Middle of the middle. <laughs> that might be the perfect place to call it. At the middle of the middle. Oh, he! There's not much, not many better ways to humanize somebody than to them long for something that was in their childhood. It's something I think a lot of people take comfort in. Fuck! I also similarly tried out Capri Salads. Uh, the, just the like, mozzarella cheese and uh, sliced tomato move. I got that from fucking anime. Do what you will with that information, I mean, I'm not gonna hide it. Maybe I'm not super proud of it. But you know what, if you become more cultured, even if just slightly, by trying out something new, then there's nothing wrong with that. Doesn't matter if you got it from anime! dorky gears in the background. It kinda reminds me of Mine Ralph. Does anybody- is there anybody present who remembers the stream of Mine Ralph? Just vaguely the art style reminded me of that. by the purple one. There's gonna be an orange one right before the end. 
They've been like conditioning me to want the purple ones. I psyched myself out. I psyched myself out. Shit, I hit the wrong button! Ugh! I'm now going for zero golds. I'm gonna get no gold on this level. Shit. <laughs> I, I keep- whoa, what the fuck am I doing? I'm hitting Y on my SNES controller to kick, even though that's literally never been the control. You hit back to kick. Which is a little unintuitive, but whatever. You'd think I would be used to it at this point, but I'm like mixing myself up for some reason. in the background. It's really hard to tell what's going on sometimes. Ah! Ah! Why'd I do that? Uh, no, I will not be 100%ing this game. I don't think... <laughs> These levels are starting to get some real teeth. There's a, there's a Ricky Gervais podcast reference that only the most dedicated fans will get. Ultra water, just like Kaitaro drinks against uh, Nairo. Give me some of my super ultra water. Extra water. So that's like, that's like vodka, right? Like he's drinking alcohol when he does that, right? I think so. <laughs> and there it is, folks. That's it. That's it for today. Bit Trip Runner. This was, I mean, the, the, let's just forget that that first boss existed and say this was a decent first sitting of this. Oh. <laughs> hey! Yeah, I love, I love Kaitaro. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Nairo, but whenever Kaitaro's on Nairo's stream, I'll watch the, like, edits of that. I even watched the full stream of them playing Cuphead, because I will watch anyone play Cuphead. Nairo seems- somebody says, and this is- this is chat saying it, not me. Nairo seems like a totally insufferable person to play Smash against. Uh, yes. I get that vibe too. I would not want to fight him in real life. Right, like, you know, I would not want to sit next to him and play Smash. He's not the funniest guy ever, too, but Kaitaro, I fucking love Kaitaro. Kaitaro? What? what the fuck? Anime. Anyway. That's it for this. For today. I think, uh, tomorrow I will come back to... Watcher's Watch. <laughs> Let's see. It's on two. How many levels? Oh, I'm actually... 
feel like I'm more than halfway through, but whatever. This is only on normal difficulty, Jesus Christ. It looks like I could skip levels too? What's up with that? These are like levels I haven't even got to yet. Or wait. Well, anyway. <laughs> I'll figure it out later. I'll, I'll unstroke later. But we got to the second world. We got past that first boss. I'm basically enjoying myself. And I hope you guys did too. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.